Hello, we're now back for episode 2, and this time I'm now using the neat King B2, uh, it's a large diaphragm condenser microphone, it's very different from the uh, Shure SM7B in the first episode since it was uh, that one is a dynamic mic, this one doesn't require an inline preamp such as the uh, cloud lifter or in my case the ones I use are a uh, Coda MB1, MB Stealth things like that I can still turn down the uh, the gain very low because it doesn't require much at all it's actually turned down I think at like 3 or 4 out of 10 something like that as you can tell the mic's got a very smooth sound it gets a lot more detail <clears throat> it tends to like I said, it picks up a lot more details, a lot smoother. And this mic is, uh, from what I understand, it's actually the company that makes them. It's called Neat. And that company is a subsidiary of Turtle Beach, as a matter of fact. These mics are extremely heavy. Like, it's a, it's a massively huge mic. It probably weighs close to four pounds. So, if you want to put it on an arm, a boom arm for your desk or something like that, it's going to, you, you want a pretty hefty one because this one's a heavy mic. Need something that's not going to fall down while you're using it and kind of lean down as in, you're in the process. You want it to stay steady, so you're probably going to want a better quality stand. <clears throat> not something that's going to fall down in under any kind of weight or jarring or anything along those lines. Now I'm still recording into my Zoom PodTrack P4, so it's not as a uh, not anything like a high dollar or super expensive interface, but it definitely does the job really well. It's, uh, like I said, it's got four inputs for mics. It's got uh, four outputs for headphones. So if you're really into wanting to do podcasts or any other kind of recording for multiple people, it's very easy to do. Now back to the King Bee. Like I said, it's a, it's a pretty thick... It's a pretty good sized microphone. Like I said before, it's a uh, it's a large diaphragm condenser. It's a very large diaphragm, so it captures pretty much everything. All the all the nuances, all the little details. If you have a lisp, as I, I tend to do, it'll catch all of that. Any mouth noises. So what you want to kind of do is, you know, you want it close to your mouth, but you want to kind of offset a little bit so you're not speaking just directly into it. You want to kind of talk over it or to you know through the side of it so you're gonna get you know as much as much detail as possible without just overloading it with plosives and just noises that you don't want in it you want your voice you don't want your you know your poo -poo -poo and stuff like that you want the good noises nothing that's gonna just just make it sound harsh and you don't want it to clip and things like that but like I said, uh, luckily this mic is actually really good quality for being as cheap as it is. Um, it comes with a removable pop filter, which is decent, not greatest, but it's it's pretty good. And it also comes with a uh, a shock mount, so that you can you put it on the shock mount, it keeps it from getting jarred around. You can't hear a whole lot of noise whenever there's movement. And it comes with all that. It's actually really good quality. It's all metal. And like I said, very, very heavy. So it's definitely, definitely the kind of mic that if you wanted to use some for singing or, you know, voiceover work. And I think it's only like $169, something like that, brand new. Which is, for the quality this thing puts out, um, I was very surprised and very impressed with it by far. Well, for now, uh, like I said, I'm probably going to be testing out several mics per episode, uh, or several mics in each episode, and uh, I'm not sure what which which one I'll, I'll do next, but I'm looking at either uh, small diaphragm condensers, which are also called pencil mics, or possibly a, uh, a shotgun microphone. But we may later on do comparison with two two different microphones at once to where you can hear you know what one sounds like compared to the other and it goes back and forth instead of just 
one mic per episode, so it makes it harder to really kind of clear your audio palette, so you can really, really get a chance to see which one sounds, which one sounds better to you. Alrighty then, with that, I'm signing off. Have a very good night.